Hello everybody, it's Andrew. We're finally doing a colour and chat. Yes, it's not Elvis from Haunt of Fame. I need a break from it. Um, yeah, I need a break. I haven't done anything on it. So I just want to do some markers. I want a quick colour and chat just to catch up with everybody because it's been a while again. So we're going to do uh, Carlara, I can't even say it, Carla Magana. I'm going to do one from Hot Tropics. This was the first book I got. I've only done one picture in this book. In fact, I've only done one picture in all the books I've got, and I've got four of her, so I won't do another one. And I've chosen to do this mermaid because I can use markers and glitter gel pens and all sorts. So I'm going to use the Winsor Newton Pro markers for a change. So if you're interested, this one is a brush pen and this is Dusky Pink. Now, I just go over her eyes at the moment because I put any makeup on over the top later, whether it's in pencil or in a marker or glitter pen. Now, how are you all? Are you well? Are you fine? Is, is everything going well? I hope none of you are sick with COVID and if you do have the lurgy, I hope you get better very, very soon. So what's been going on? Why haven't I been filming? Well, it's been a hell of a week. Just as everything starts to get back to normal and I'm sorting out a sort of schedule for filming and doing my eBay, you know, doing my photographs and drafts and listings, etc. It all goes wrong. So the first thing is on Tuesday, <coughs> get, no, on Monday, get a message from the school saying, Ah, uh, no nursery. Nursery class is cancelled because there's too many teachers out of COVID, so we've got to cancel the class. Okay, Bright Minds, um, her daycare, her wraparound facility said, that's fine, we can have her all day, it's not a problem. So she goes there on Tuesday. <clears throat> Only then we get a message from them saying there's going to be no wraparound provision at all because they've got two staff out with COVID, potentially three. <laughs> so I've had Jennifer off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which means I've been trying to work and had her around as well, which is not easy. So luckily my workplace is absolutely fantastic. I will say this for the company I work with, they are the best when it comes to helping out. So they've put me on um, email admin work. So I'm not on the phones. I'm literally just doing email admin work while this persists. And this is gonna potentially last until Wednesday of next week, because that's what the school is saying. They're saying there's no nursery back until Wednesday with brighter minds. It would literally mean going down, taking her down for eight o'clock, picking her up at nine, and then taking her back down at 11, just to pick her up at one on Monday. And the same on Tuesday, except for picking her, up, picking her up at three. It's it's too much time out of my day. It would take me about half an hour out of my work day, which I would have to make up. It's just going to be easier for me to have her home. Because they will support me and, you know, have her there so that's great but if you're working you can't go and pick your child up because they haven't got wraparound provision you just don't have the time I don't have the time my you know my company's great but it's not fair on them for me to keep logging out and logging in picking her up dropping her off picking her up. you know it's just not fair so it's fairer for me to just do the emails and obviously if I can if she's playing with the toys or she's still asleep um take the old call but it is a bit, I'm going to do that as all hair. What's that done? I love these pro markers. I'm not going to lie. I think they are fabulous. So, hmm. Um, yeah, I like that one. Oh, there's a little turquoise one in here. Turquoise. That's a nice blue. Oh, yes. Perfect. Lovely. So this is just a normal pen. It's not a brush marker, sadly, but it is soft green. I'm gonna do her tail on this, because don't forget we'll be going over this with glitter and all that later. So that's partly it, because I just have not, I've had her home for three days 
out of five. I'm, I'm trying to work, I'm looking after her, I'm running after her demands, so, you know, getting her breakfast, getting her changed and dressed and all that stuff, helping her get, you know. She, she tries to sit on me all the time, she sits so close to me, it's like she's attached to me. Uh, she just loves being with me. She's alright when she's at nursery, she doesn't mind that, and she's fine, and she's not miserable, and she's happy. But it, it's just too much when you're trying to work. So by the time I finish either... Uh, quarter to one which is a Monday uh, uh, Monday and Wednesday or one o'clock the rest of the week I'm black flaming knackered on top of that on Wednesday no Tuesday um, I had to go and get the cat because we had Zed done so it turns out Zed's girl uh, not a boy like we originally were told but that doesn't matter doesn't mean to say we love the cat any less she's lovely so we had a spay on Tuesday so of course I had to go down and get her so that's again me having to drive down there I'm not going to begrudge getting her but Jennifer insisted on coming I was actually at my mum's at the time so it wasn't so bad I went and got her at five o'clock Jennifer couldn't come in they gave me her inflammatory medicine um, and then we carried I took her home she's been fine she wouldn't wear the cone she kept pulling it off but to be fair she has not licked or scratched or bitten her wound at all she has just left it alone so i'm really proud of her for that really proud of her for that and then she you know she's been really good um wednesday i took my mum to the doctors to have her covid booster because for some reason she didn't get invited when everybody else did she should have been and she wasn't but um luckily they they did it down the surgery so i took her down there um jennifer stayed at mum's house with granddad and played with him which is fine they love each other to bits so i know she's safe paul can't have her because he's working all day as well and then she um I went back, had a cup of tea, uh, I don't know if I had something to eat or something, I can't remember, I did one of the one days, and then took Jennifer home, fine, again absolutely shattered because all the running around I'm doing on top of this, I've got washing to do, cleaning to do, <sighs> cooking to do, everything, cat to look after. Thursday we had to take the cat back to the vet for a checkup um, on her wound and everything was fine. They were really pleased with it. She was good as gold. I said she won't keep the cone on. She hates it. She tries to bite me if I put it on and they said well she's not bothering the wound. We're really pleased with the stitches, the way the stitches are looking. Just leave it. It's fine. Leave it. Um, there's no point in stressing her out. She hates it that much just leave it off it, she's not worrying her, her stitches or anything she's fine and she's still fine she's got to go back next Thursday which is I don't know what's the date next Thursday oh, who knows 20 cement 27th um so she's got to go back then just for a final checkup on that which is fine and then on Friday I always take my dad shopping which is fine. I have no. I don't begrudge taking my dad anywhere because when I was a youngster, well, before I could drive, he would drive me anywhere. He'd take me ice skating. He'd take me horse riding. He'd take me to uh, various theatres to watch productions. He'd take me to you know to Cardiff, to Bargoid, to Philly, anywhere I wanted to go. There was something I wanted to watch. Blackwood loads of times when I was in things from Riska, um, and he would take me there. Um, so I can't begrudge, and I don't begrudge taking him anyway. He was like saying, oh, I'll pay for that, I can't afford to put it was diesel. I'm like, Dad, don't be daft, you used to take me everywhere when you were younger, it doesn't matter. When I was a kid, it's fine. So I'm not one of those people that expects him to pay, to, you know, me back for it. it you know, I owe him. I owe, owe him and my mum a lot, and I'm happy to give it back to them. And then... Yeah, so that was Friday. So on top of all this, I'm absolutely shattered. I am absolutely shattered. 
what do I do next? You know, how do I fit it all in? I'm going to bed. I'm not even, I mean, I'm, you know how much I love to read. I am not even reading. I am not reading at all or very much the way I would normally because I'm too tired in the evening. Oops. I am so tired that I don't want to, to, I just wanted to sleep and I was sleeping a lot. To be fair, Jennifer was staying up late as well because she wasn't doing as much. Because of course, I can't have to take her out to the park when I'm working. I've got to be at my desk, I've got to be working. So, to do that, it's very hard. Do you know what I mean? So that's partly why I haven't filmed and the rest of the thing is it's not that I've not wanted to because I really have. I've just been really lazy on it, probably because I've been really tired. So it's part laziness, part knackeredness. I'm not going to lie. So while I've wanted to, I just have not had the energy to do it. So anyway, hopefully, I mean, like I said, next week's going to be a bit of a mishmash of both. But I am hoping that Wednesday the 26th it will all be back to normal and um, she'll be able to go in to a nursery and to the nursery at school so she'll have a wrap around and her nursery and I've got to pay them some extra money for because they had a, an extra session so I'm going to do that tonight when I finish this. Oh, now I've booked her birthday off, but she's actually in nursery and school that day. So she won't be off, but she finishes at one that day. It's her, one of her early days. So it just gives me and dad, her dad time to get a cake um, and stuff like that. And it's also Paul's mum's birthday, so she'll be up in the afternoon and stuff. So. So we got a little birthday presents now. So today we got up, had a lot, long lie in, lovely. Jennifer did too, she didn't get up early. I thought she'd got up and was with Paul because I could hear her chatting. I thought she was chatting to Paul, but she wanted to chatting to herself in a room, not getting funny because I hadn't gone in to see her or anything. And then she, you know, she calls to me and I'm like, all right, okay, I'm coming. Um, so we had a nice lie in and then a cup of tea. Did the washing up. There was a ton of washing up to do, so me and Paul did it together. Um, put the washing away. I mean, oh my God, the amount of laundry we have in this house, it's ridiculous. It is horrendous. I mean, like Jennifer, when she's at nursery and school, goes through three changes of clothes a day, including her pyjamas at night. So it's like, oh God. What, you know, you just, it's like, what next? So um, I did that, and then I sorted some washing out, I put more washing on, I put more washing on the dryer, and I sorted two and a half loads. So it'll probably be two loads that I'll be doing tomorrow. So that's why I mean, it's so difficult sometimes. I love these pro markers, they're so nice. Look at them, look how they, they look nice. Right, so that's the light orange one that goes there. In its dark one. There's a bread lid. Um, yeah. Then we, I mean, we walked to the park. Uh, after we'd done all the washing, the washing up, and all that stuff, we walked, went to the park to have some fun and she went on her scooter she is getting so good on that scooter now it's brilliant I love it love seeing it on her scooter because this cool aqua 
Um, yeah, she's getting so fast on it now, it's brilliant. she has been good as gold and we came back from that and I was going on watch a bit of TV put a bit of cycling out we then had had our dinner and then Jennifer had a bath it's because I got her a new bath toy the other day I, it's only a baby shark but you put it in the water and it plays baby shark and swims <laughs> The, it's got pressure buttons and it's really good actually it's very clever and she loved it and she wanted to, she was like I couldn't wait to get in the bath so I got her in the bath she had a nice bath and then she uh, watched my TV and then went to bed and I don't know what this is here so I'm probably going to blank it out when I do the background <laughs> I have no idea. Um, she, uh, yeah, so she went to bed, good as gold. That is supposed to be hair, I think, but I've done it as a sort of wavy thing. So, there we go. Um, yeah, she, she went, she's gone to bed. I had a shower, came up, done a bit of filming. Paul's watching. TV downstairs, I think. I'm going to watch a movie in a bit, an old movie uh, called Three Wise Girls starring Jean Harlow. It's one I haven't seen, so I really can't wait to see it. I've got loads of films to watch that I haven't seen. Oh, I missed one there. I'll have a cool aqua out again in a minute. Cool aqua, that one, wasn't it? Yeah. So we did that. I mean, Paul watched a film last night. Um, I was on TikTok, and every now and again, because I follow a lot of movie channels, this uh, movie thing popped up, and I was like, oh, well, that looks quite interesting. And it's it's um, a Ricky Gervais film. Now, I'm not a big fan of Ricky Gervais, I find him a bit obnoxious, but I thought I liked the look of that, and it was called Ghost Town. So it's about this guy who has an operation and he dies on the operating table but he comes back seven minutes later so you know and then when he comes back he can see ghosts funny enough that happens a lot in these things sort of the premise of the bbc's um comedy series ghosts um but uh, yeah and then you can see ghosts and of course they start following around because they realize he can see them because obviously once he can see them he starts avoiding them because he thinks they're alive, to start with especially he thinks they're alive. What makes me laugh is though that we learn that when people walk through a ghost they sneeze. Uh, pretty much every time they walk through a ghost they sneeze for no reason and, and is that why we sneeze? Did we walk through ghosts without realising it and then sneeze? It was very clever that bit. So I really liked that bit. And uh, it was so, so clever. And it had a good story as well. And he, you know, he was a miserable git. As Ricky Gervais always plays miserable gits, who was redeemed. And then he does start helping the ghosts, who he can see because they have unfinished business. Although he figures it out that it's not they that have unfinished business, it's us that have unfinished business with them. And that's why they're forced to hang around. I just thought it was so clever. It was really, really good. Um, so I was glad. That was a really good film to watch. So um, we're going to watch Rocket Man next week on Netflix before they take it off. It's on until the 30th. So we will watch it probably next Friday, which is the 28th. I suppose they've got to take things off to put new things on, but... It depends what they put on. There's a, there's a few films on there I want to watch. Um, but I'm not one that thinks if it takes taken off, it's the end of the world. To me, it's not. It's just what it is. I can live with it. I'll, it'll, I'll catch up with it another time on somewhere else. 
Uh, we did watch the first episode of Ricky Gervais's series Afterlife, uh, which is his life after his wife dies. Um, it's alright. It's a bit odd. We might watch it every now and again when we can't think of anything else we want to watch. So, oh, you didn't see me do any of those bits, but never mind. Sorry. So it's just, it's just a quick one while, you know, because I, I uh, wanted to catch up with you um, just to say hello and let you know how I was and what's been going on. It's been a bit like a manic. Just in case you don't watch the weekly vlogs, obviously a lot of this is in there. In fact, I didn't even film two days on the weekly vlog because of what's been going on. It's been too, nothing exciting's happened and it's just been too much hassle. I've hardly read anything. Most of the weekly vlog is me updating my reading status. Ready before the big wrap up at the end of the month. I've read seven books, so I'm a bit behind, but not too far. Right, okay, what's that? Have we got any, oh, really sparkly pens around. Yeah, yeah I've got these ones. Um, let me just have a look, I'll be right back. Ah, I found the um, work Scribblicious ones, I'll use those for now. Please excuse me, slurping my 7-Up. Well, it's not 7-Up, it's actually cheap lemonade from Lidl's. <laughs> because... I won't do the background. Backgrounds can be quite boring to do on camera, so I'll do that off camera. A bit later. Does that look shiny? Oh, it does look a bit shiny, doesn't it? Can we see it? I can't tell. This one. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go watch um, Jean Harlow in Three Wise Girls. I just got to set my DVD player up. I know you're thinking, who wants DVD players these days? Nobody watches DVD. He's everybody streams. Yeah, but not everything's available on stream that I want to watch. So, for instance, Three Wise Girls isn't. It's a rare movie. It is a rare movie. So. Because it's a rare movie, it's not streamable. It's not the rarest of Harlow's movie. I think that would be, oh, what's it called? Goldie. I've seen that. I've got it on videotape, but it's a very, very bad print. Um, a bit of silver on here as well. Like that. So there we go. I like this girl. It's just a nice simple one to do. We don't have to worry too much about it. We just put a little bit in here now. So yeah, my hands, the way the light's in the, on the wrong side, really everything's the wrong way around in this room, I'll tell you. I will be trying to film on my phone soon because I have got a ring light um, and a stand for my phone. I've never tried it before, which I use when I'm doing TikTok. And uh, it's really good actually for doing TikTok. So I am going to try it. Just me putting them back into the case because these come in a box. Right. These are nice. Now originally couldn't get these at all in store. 
had to I had to order them on like now they flipping got them in stock in the shop haven't they which is going to be bad for me because as soon as they start running out I'm going to want another set because I really like these I do I like these it's a bit of uh, a bit of silver la di da di da <laughs> just sing along you got to have a bit of glitter in your life haven't you if you're not glittering, what's the point? Especially if you're a mermaid, you've got a glitter, haven't you? Yeah. Ooh, a light blue. I love these lip pens actually. They're really nice. I might have to colour a pattern in with them. <gasps> no, not more patterns, Andrea. All you do is patterns. I know. It's not like that though. Dooby doo. Dooby doo. Dooby doo. I'm singing them all the worlds for some reason. I have no idea why. I'll put that over. It's a nice glue. Look at that. see what I'm doing again. Ugh, I'm hopeless at this. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Dooby doo, dooby doo, dooby doo. A dark blue here. Not too much though, just a little bit. A bit of silver maybe. So I'm gonna finish it soon because uh, this battery's almost dead as well. Ugh. These batteries, they don't last very long. So yeah. See if I can find another one. I'll be a sec. Right, there we go. Change the battery yet again. And now I've got some pencils to do some makeup, I suppose. I'm just trying to think. Um, let's do some pearls on her eyes. So these, I'm just going to use my polys for this just to put a bit over there, that bit there. Hmm. I'm currently re-swatching these. So that's fun. I'm never very good at putting pencil over it so do my best. It's not my favourite thing to do. But there's so much to do, isn't it? Oh, look how tiny this one is. <laughs> oh dear me. Yes, so they're getting small. Well, I love my pollies. I do use my pollies a lot. I'm, I'm just going to say that I do. I use them a hell of a lot. I love them. I love all my pencils, actually. But my pollies, I do use them a lot. Bit of a rash. <laughs> I don't know. It's only for a bit of fun. So, what colour should I do the background? Shall I do it gold, dark blue, red, green, silver, or gold? I'm just leaning towards dark blue. But I'll be doing that off camera. Just because I, I hate doing backgrounds on camera. They take so long. Um, no. I'm 
but yeah that's what's been going on that's why there's been very few video this week um I mean, as I, I did, I just did a film to flip through of the cover in heaven, which arrived Monday or Tuesday, and I opened, opened it today, which is Saturday. So that just shows you how it's been here. How bad it's been. Not bad. I can't say it's been bad. It's been fine. It's just I've been busy trying to cope with having Jennifer off and doing everything I normally do as I, I was just getting back into the swing of things with getting eBay listed I'd had been photographing I got five up one of the items have sold I've got to pack it up to sell off on Monday I've had a return which they didn't do properly so I've got to sort that out as well um and I've just had to stop doing eBay again because I haven't got time there we go, so let's uh, zoom it out. That's going to be it for this video. So there she is. You'll see the background and everything that's been done in my um, <coughs> excuse me, my wrap up because it'll be done soon. At the end of the month, I'll show you what I what I finished it, how I finished it off. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'm going to lose me things if I don't clip that together. Ugh. And I will see you in the next one. Let me know what you want me to colour in. Do you want me to go back to Elvis or do you want me to do something else? I will be doing some of Elvis soon. I'm, just, I'm trying to get through all my old whips and it's just taking forever. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.